Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zirk Sinai, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Arrow, Season 6, Episode 5, called Deathstroke Returns. And hopefully this is my last video in this setup. <laughs> I plan to go back to my old setup soon. Anyway, let's just jump right in. So we have a new intro where basically Oliver says that Dig is now the Green Arrow, so he's trying to make that apparent. Um, that he's trying to remove himself away from that and be a full-time father. Then we get to where Black uh, Canary um, rescues a lady, which is um, a senator or someone that's on the city council from the snipe from a sniper. And then we cut to where Slade and Oliver talk, and then turns out we have a little bit of a backstory about um, his kid changed his name to Kane and joined the Australian intelligence. And he's in jail. And he needs Oliver's help, but not as a green arrow or as vigilante, but as a diplomacy type thing. And then um, he's going to Casnia, and then my dad's going into my room. <laughs> Sorry about that. And basically, uh, <laughs> Then basically, um, we have um, his window casting us. If you're ready by 2200 hours, we can get there. And if you're coming, we're leaving at 2100. So, uh, the flashback where Slade and Kane talk and they're going on a camping trip. And then we go to the present day where the vigilante it was the sniper. And the FBI agent Watson is at the crime scene and basically interrogates uh, Diggle for being there. Is that why you're here? And all this type of stuff, and <laughs> and then we have, um, and then she wants to interrogate Dick as well. Then we have Felicity and William talk. Then Felicity talks to um, Oliver and tells him to go with Slade. And then. So Oliver does decide to go slay because he was come, uh, contemplating it at first. And so then we cut to Black Canary is staking out the um, center, the councilwoman and runs to Vigilante. And basically uh, she used her canary cry to literally bust the shield, the visor. And it turns out uh, Vigilante is Vincent, which is her old partner. Which is kind of crazy. And then we have Watson wants to talk to Felicity. Then we cut to Oliver and Slade. Uh, or me and someone. It's cut, is either Nyland or Nylander? I'm going to go with Nylander. And there's a Batman reference. Like, at least you're not Batman. And then get some info. And then we cut to where Felicity and Watson have an awkward interrogation. Which is cut super short. Because she got an email. And she, or text message, and she had to leave. And then, so Slade and Oliver argue about, like, don't you want to see your son? At least tell him goodbye, because all that type of stuff. Um, what to say to him, but he doesn't even want to see the kid, so he just wanted to take the kid to London and just kind of, um, give him a fake passport and a new life, and there you go. Then we have a flashback moment where they're roasting fish kind of gross, but they're on a camping trip, and, um, he's, then Slade sees a guy, which I think it's a target, and then the kid's being icy, and just kind of tells them to buzz off, <laughs> and then we go to the present day, where they found Vigilante's lair, and it has a bunch of bulls and stuff, and, um, Black Canary, or Dinah, is very, just distraught, and very mad, <laughs> and then we have, um, follow Oliver, photo op at the Casnia del um, warden at the prison and turns out um, the kid is dead and then it was from a prison fight. So Slade is very upset. They have a flashback where Slade gets Guy to uh, take a picture of them and then we have Black Canary is upset as well and did tries to talk to her and she basically says buzz off. And then um, <laughs> And then we have Watson um, subpoenaed watchdog. So she's trying to get a hold of everyone on Team Arrow about everything, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. 
And we have Slade gets mad at the warden, and turns out uh, the kid's not dead, but the jackals took him for torture. And then the councilwoman is at the new police station, and the FBI is there, so Dinah, Black Canary, uh, tells Team Arrow not to show up whatsoever. And then we cut to Oliver, who wants to help Slade, and, but it turns out Slade drugged him, and he wants to do it alone. We have a flashback where Slade made dinner, and then he saw the guy walking, so he was trying to get information about Yafe, and the guy gave him the information, and he ended up killing the guy. And then we go to the present day where Diggle checks on uh, Dinah and says to chill out, and maybe some of the old Vincent is still in there deep down. Uh, then she tells him to basically just leave, shut up and leave. And then you have the press conference, and the vigilante is there, and he cuts the power. It's Black Canary versus Vigilante, and the cop shoots him in the head. But it turns out he's fine. He just recovers really quick now. And he's on a, a little bit of a cray mission. It's not all there in the head. And um, Black Canary tells him to go and wanted to team Arizan that he got away. And then we have Oliver wakes up, and then um, Will calls him and asks if you're able to help you, your friend find a son. He said no, and I'll be home soon. And then um, he's just like, well, is there anything else you can do? So we cut to where, then we cut to where Slade goes ham on everybody. Nobody's had a chance whatsoever. It turns out uh, Nolander is the leader, and they have a flashback where the camping trip is done. Then we go to present day where Watson questions um, Dinah, and then we find that uh, Vigilante left a matchbox like she was talking about earlier, and that he, he used to leave matchboxes for her with little stuff inside it. And then Oliver wants to help Slade, and turns out the real leader... The real leader is Kane, the son, and that's in the episode. So, I mean, I kind of saw that kind of coming that Slade was, I mean, Kane was the new, was the leader or the bad guy. So, I mean, it's, it's just kind of made a little bit sense. So it wasn't really that shocking, like, oh my God. But so, you know, very great episode. I love that sort of death, stroke, death Stroke is back. And, it's just, a, to me, it's also a pretty good episode. I'll give this a, I don't know, I guess an A, I'll give it an A plus, actually, just because I like how Watson is super smart. She knows what's up, and she knows when people are lying, and just cuts through the crap, and says, I know this, it's just calling down people. And so, um, she's just a very smart lady, and I kind of like her. So, I'll, hopefully, I'm very interested very interested to see where that character develops and also what's going to happen in the next episode because it's all creepy for oh my god <clears throat> that's going to be so cool to watch so that's going to do it for this video <coughs> oh wait sorry I just want to say Slay did an awesome job Manu Bennett that is it right anyway Manu did an awesome job on the fight scene that was so killer like the way it slowed down every time he punched and like killed and stabbed people super good effects it was really good and just fight scenes are always on point so i really enjoyed that and now that's going to do it for this episode so if you like this video please go to like comment down below what you think of the episode and then subscribe for more stuff and have a super awesome night or day or evening whenever you're watching this bye everybody